Okay, practice question, uh, and this is a typical type of diploma type of question you can encounter on a gel electrophoresis. Now, just for a clue or a little hint, make sure you know this very well because you may potentially be asked down the road, uh, you know, a couple of different uh, techniques for analyzing DNA. This certainly would be one of them. So this is question one on page 18. So it's a sample type question diploma type question, and it is looking at banding patterns. So a distinct DNA fingerprint. So of course with gel electrophoresis, I won't go over it all in big detail, but uh, this is in your notes on page 17. Uh, it just talks about using a restrictive enzyme to cut DNA at a precise location. So you end up getting these little fragments and they dye this now with a dye that uh, will uh, show up under UV light and then they put these in these little wells, we said, and then those wells are hooked up to a, an electrode. And then what happens is DNA is negatively charged. On the other end, it's positive. It starts dragging these fragments down the gel. So the whole premise of this is they start to separate. And how it works is that the ones that travel the farthest, so that would be kind of like band A here, these guys are... Um, a lower amount of base pairs. They don't have as many base pairs, so they're gonna be smaller fragments. And because they're smaller, they don't have the same resistance in the gel, and they're gonna travel faster. Whereas you compare that with band one, this one right on top here, this one is probably very large. And if it's large, of course, it's gonna have a higher number of base pairs. And what happens is because it's so large, it actually encounters more resistance through the gel and it doesn't travel as fast or as far down the uh, gel apparatus here. So after a while, they will freeze it. They'll actually uh, put it under UV light and you get a distinct uh, DNA fingerprint that is associated with that particular sample of DNA. And they use this, of course, in all sorts of uh, you know, forensic sciences in order to be able to, in forensic science, in order to be able to determine who, you know, a potential suspect might be if they can get uh, a DNA sample from them and compare it to what might have been left at the scene of the crime. So used often. Uh, pretty hard to convict somebody without this type of evidence nowadays. So let's take a look at the actual question here. So when we look at the question, it says, what statement about the DNA fingerprint in this gel is correct? So this is what you want to do. You want to kind of analyze the information first and then go take a look at the question. Hopefully the answer will stick out more after you analyze uh, uh, part of the information. So it says band five has uh, the largest number of base pairs. So band five, they're saying this one here. Well, that doesn't make sense. If it had the largest number of base pairs, it would be, of course, a larger segment of DNA or fragment of DNA wouldn't travel as far, but this one traveled very far. So in this case, this one would be the smallest number of base pairs. So that can't be correct. Uh, band one has the least number of base pairs. No, we just determined that it's the larger fragments that don't travel as far. This would be the largest. And of course, this would have the largest number of base pairs because of its size. So that is incorrect. Band three has more base pairs than band two. So they're saying this one has more and this one less. Well, that's not true either, right? Because band three actually has to have less because it's a smaller fragment that has traveled farther down the gel. So that leaves us with D as our only choice, but let's just go over it to make sure it's correct. Uh, band one has more fragments than band five, and we already determined that. Band one, larger fragments of DNA, more base pairs, not going to travel as far, so it's higher up in the gel apparatus, so that would leave us with D being the correct answer. Okay, any questions about this? Like I say, you're going to be requested to look at some different type of uh, technologies for analyzing DNA. Uh, gel electrophoresis is a, is, a, is a good one. Okay, thanks.